John, welcome to Bobby Like Us Carthen. Glad to have you in the house. You're first up. Hey, Bobby. Bobby, I just uh, got back from New England. I was up there for a couple of years, in and out of the VA hospitals up there. And I have an 07 Slaro. Oh, by the way, I do have the Evolution cover. It came in real handy up there. It had snow and slush up there. I kept the cover on my car for sometimes a week or two weeks at a time. Wow, that's great. I got an 07 Solara, and being that I was not using it much, and, it, and it's three years old, and I only have less than just under 10,000 miles on this car, what kind of maintenance do you recommend for a guy who doesn't put much mileage on a car like that? There, there's a, that's a huge question, and it's an easy question to answer. Even if you don't drive the car, but... 4,000 miles a year. In your case, you've got a car that's an 07 going on three years old with less than 15,000 miles on it. The The fluids should be changed in the automobile. Uh, you, you should make sure uh, that, and, and if you would get a pen and write this down, it's important because this has been a problem that a Toyota has had. Well, all cars have had. Even, even my Dodge uh, Viper that I don't drive very often, I found that the voltage in the cooling system had increased, which causes electrolysis. And so when you take your car in to a service provider, have them to check the for DC volts in the coolant. And if it's beyond, well, here's the, the, the threshold of pain for your cooling system, 0.3 volts, three-tenths of a volt. And if yours is registering uh, 1.1 to uh, or 1 uh, Point 0.1 volt, I'm sorry, point 0.1 volt, then it's going to be okay. But you want to make sure that the fluids change. You want to check the pH level and the brake fluid as well. And just for your information, John, the brake fluid, even if it tests okay for moisture content, and that's, that depends on, you know, your car's outside, so the brake fluid just, just normally absorbs moisture. And what that will do is that will corrode the rotors internally, the pistons, and it will cause calipers to stick. Well, not the caliper, but the piston themselves. It will cause that. It will cause a wheel cylinder problems. So, uh, again, bumper-to-bumper -bumper fluid uh, changes, that's important. Uh, as far as the car itself, you want to make sure that, uh, at least every six months, the car is waxed. Right. How often do you change the oil in the car? Every five months. Where did you hear that information? I just made it up in my mind. In other words, according to the maintenance book, it says change it every uh, 5,000 uh, every uh, 5,000 miles, whatever. And uh, I change it every five months. Well, you're 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 way ahead of the game because most people that have cars that have that don't drive uh, much, they say, "Well, I've only got." 3,000 miles, I mean, we'll actually call car clinic customers and say it's time for your oil change. And they say, well, wait a minute. I only have 3,800 miles, and, and I, you know, I've got that special procedure that you have, and it's good for 5,000 miles. And we did. We created our own special procedure that is an outstanding. It's made specifically, well, it helps to combat any side effects of the ethanols in fuel. It helps to add life to the engine as with with oil and lubricity and, and additives, and also it serves to clean the fuel system and lubricate the fuel pump. It's good for 5,000 miles or five months. And you'd be surprised at the people, the customers that we call that know better, and they say, well, I've only driven 3,500 miles, but it's been six or seven months. And to try to get people to get their cars back in the shop, uh, when they say, well, the car's running okay, it, 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 mean, it must be okay. So you want to be proactive, but you've got a handle on that. There, there is one item that uh, you, you need to remember, and, and, and especially uh, having I mean, in New England, been in New England, and for all you folks in, in that part of the country, you want to make sure that you add the right kind of windshield washer solvent so that that you don't have just regular water in there because that will freeze, right. and also the solvent has uh, fights the bacteria that builds up, and then the uh, cabin air filters, and and just for your information, there are some 45, and here's a stat, John, that's really interesting, 45 million vehicles in the U.S. are factory equipped with cabin air filters since 2001.